you thought this was going to be easy. You first start listening to all these people on YouTube and reading these financial literacy books. Me, Dame Ramsey, Dr. Boyce Watkins, that Asian guy I always forget. He's pretty good. You thought it's going to be easy. It's a struggle. It's a struggle because you see the world around you and you want those same things. You see the people around you and you want what they have. You grew up not rich, maybe poor, maybe not. Maybe middle class. You never really had anything of your own. But now you are in your career and you can afford particular things. You can't afford certain things. So now you're saying to yourself, I want all those things that I never had. But you don't have the cash on hand. So you take out a personal loan. Or you charge up the many credit cards you have and say you'll pay it off. Tap those damn credit cards. I'm still paying off credit cards. This is the thing. It's a struggle. It's a struggle because most of us grew up the same and it doesn't matter your ethnic, your creed, your race or religion because only a certain percentage of the population is rich. So what does that mean? Most of us are middle class and some of us were lower class and then those unfortunate ones were extremely poor in poverty. It's a struggle for us to go out day to day and see people with nice stuff and we want nice stuff. And you told yourself, when I get a good job, when I get a great job, or when my business takes off, I'm going to really treat myself to something nice. It's a struggle because when you told yourself that, and then when you accomplished that job or you started your business, you went out and you accumulated debt. You started another expense that if you just were to grind maybe two or three years, you would have paid for that item, that car, that jet ski, that four-wheeler outright. But the society around you, the materialistic that we see each and every day, how people are, whether it's clothes, cars, houses, status quo, social reality, all these things that really contaminate our minds. And sometimes it encourages, and encourage always is not positive. Every day, Pinky and the Brain try to take over the world. And every day, they failed. They came close, but they failed. So every day, it's a struggle for us to try to eliminate debt in our lives. And we have to really think about all the systematic, subliminal messaging that this materialistic world has really ingrained in our spirit, in our soul, in our brain, and in our minds. I like nice stuff. I like nice shit. I like when I get in my car. It's perforated leather, heated and cool seats. And I'm not bragging. I love those seats. <laughs> I really love those seats with the Napa leather. It's soft on my hide, but if I just would have waited maybe four or five years, and you said, that's a long time to wait for something. Well, good things come to those who wait. We've heard that before. I would have paid for that car outright, and I wouldn't be in car debt. And car debt, the way I'm saying it, you might say, damn, that sounds negative. Are you paying your loan? I'm paying my loan. I'm paying actually 200 extra of my loan. So it's a struggle for everybody. And don't think that I'm any different than you. Because I told you, we are family and we're in this struggle together. When a family member goes off course, we have to correct each other. I read all the comments and messages in my inbox and I try to reply to everybody. And I don't think anybody will say that I don't reply, even if it's a word. I try to let you know that I hear you and I'm listening to you. There's somebody out there that has been through what you've been through or is going through and sometimes going through what you're going through and we're in this together i listen i read all the things you have to say and a lot of you are very intelligent people 
And, you know, we got ourselves in a financial situation we're trying to get out of. Sometimes we put ourselves in a situation and sometimes other people put ourselves in a situation. And sometimes other people influence us to be to be in the situation we are in now because some of us are gullible. Some of us is too nice. Some of us had a strategy that they played us, etc. So it's a struggle, but we are here for each other and we need to reinforce positivity in our finances because even though it's a struggle, doesn't mean we cannot overcome. And this is not to be confused with the civil rights movement. <laughs> okay. But just because it's a struggle does not mean we cannot overcome. We can surpass all the negative things, all the things that we want and that we think we need and get out of debt and do better and do better. It's nothing like having your whole paycheck. Have any of you guys ever experienced your whole paycheck? Probably not. Because even before you had a job, you already had a bill, maybe a cell phone bill. So wouldn't it be nice to get 70% of your own income instead of paying all these people all your money? It's amazing to me how we only get one paycheck, but we have six, seven, eight, nine, ten bills a month. And you're looking at it, oh, it's only $8, it's only $30, only $50. Add it all up. Add it all up. It's a struggle. It's a struggle because when you start putting things on paper or you list things in a budget sheet or in Excel, you'll start to see how all that money is accumulating and killing your income. It's soaking up all your finances, all these little bills, Netflix and Hulu and Amazon. And granted, these are the luxuries of life. And some of these things are we actually need. Luxuries of life. We actually need, we, we, we need that time to decompress. But what's more important right now? Debt. Debt is more important. Getting rid of debt, unfortunately, is more important than Netflix. It's more important than Hulu and all these other entertainment services out there, Voodoo and uh, PS View. Even though these are great tools to watch TV, and we we like our shows, I like my shows too, Queen Sugar and Power and Empire and stuff like that. Anyway, but the point I'm making here, it's a struggle for me. It's a struggle for you. It's a struggle for us. We are family. We need to lift each other up. And maybe you don't need Netflix and Amazon and Hulu and Vudu and PS. Maybe we can cut it down to one or two. Cut your expenses. Now, I'm a little different than Dave Ramsey. I know I say his name quite frankly here because he's a very, very intelligent guy. He tells you his story how he, you know, was in poverty and he was poor and he was broke. He has some really good pointers. You should really check out his channel. He doesn't know me. My disclaimer, I'm not getting paid for this to advertise his channel, but I believe that you should be well balanced and well based. But I know you got to live out there. I know your jobs are stressful, even if you have your own business. And those who work at home with your flip-flops on, I envy you. Okay? I envy you. Keep it up. <laughs> but sometimes we need little outlets in life. I'm just saying cut your expenses and get out of debt. I'm going to try. I'm trying. It's a struggle. And I'm in this struggle with you. This is Ross World. Where don't think that you're the only one struggling. Don't think that you're the only one trying to get out of debt. Because I am too. I'm out.